Hey everyone, I'm John, your friend in tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you what's in my bag and my everyday carry. By the way, if you're new to the channel, I'm a software engineer at Google and content creator based in San Francisco, and today I'm going to a cafe to work out of. I've been feeling kind of a creative block with YouTube, so I'm hoping a change of scenery will help. And while I'm out, I thought I would film a what's in my bag video to show you what's in my bag. So in this video, I'm going to share all the tech and gear I use and carry with me that allows me to be productive on the go, whether that's commuting into the Google office or going to a cafe like today. With that said, let's go find this cafe. It's this way. This is the Tokyo Tote Pack from Bellroy and it's in the midnight color. This is by far the best backpack I have ever used for an everyday carry. It's minimal, comfortable, and stylish, and just as important if it's everything that I need. By the way, this video is not sponsored, but I will have affiliate links in the description below if you're interested in anything I show and want to support the channel. Okay, now let's talk about the features of the bag. This is a 20 liter bag and it weighs 1.8 pounds, so it's pretty small and compact, which is perfect for me because I don't generally carry that much stuff around. It's called a tote pack because it can be used as either a backpack or a tote pack, which is pretty cool. I mostly use it as a backpack, but I'm a big fan of the tote handles on this bag because it just makes it super comfortable to carry, especially when I'm on a crowded bus and I want to hold the bag in front of me. The handles are made from soft nylon and there are two of them, which helps balance the bag and again, makes it more comfortable. The backpack straps are padded which is nice for when I'm commuting and I have to have a heavy bag and I'm walking to and from the bus stop. What's cool about this bag is if you want to use this bag as just a tote, you can hide the straps inside of this back pocket and you can also use these straps to secure the bag to your chair or table so it's going to be really hard for someone to grab it and run away. I learned this tip when I did a solo trip across Europe and you can do it with any bag if you have a carabiner. Now this bag has three compartments, two side zippers in the front that you can quickly access by swinging the bag in front of you from one shoulder and then there's one main compartment with extra organization inside and I'll cover that later on in the video. What I really like about the bag is that even when it's full it keeps its shape and it doesn't get lumpy or uncomfortable to carry. This is a down jacket from Lululemon that I like to carry around in my bag because it folds small and it keeps me super warm without needing to have a bunch of layers. All in all it's a great everyday bag perfect for work, school, or casual use. One downside that I can think of is that this bag isn't completely waterproof but that's easily solved by buying a rain cover. Alright, I finally found a cafe with a nice outdoor area. In the main compartment of the bag, we have a padded laptop sleeve that can fit a 16 inch laptop. The laptop I use for all my content creation is a 2020 13 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 chip. It handles editing my 4K videos really well and I honestly have zero complaints about this MacBook. I went with the smaller size because I mostly have it hooked up to a monitor at home, but it's also great for portability. And for when I'm heading into the office, I'll bring my work laptop, which is a 2019 16 inch MacBook Pro. I get a lot of questions on why I use a Mac when I work on Android at Google and honestly it's not a big deal it's just personal preference. I really like having the large screen because I do like to work in different parts of the office and I often work on the bus during my commute so having the extra screen real estate really helps a lot. Now for this bag there's only room for one laptop in the padded compartment but if I needed to bring both of my Macs I could also fit my 13 inch MacBook in the tablet sleeve but most of the time I only carry one of my MacBooks and in the tablet sleeve I'll hold my 12.9 inch iPad Pro. This is the third generation and I really love the screen on this thing. I originally bought this iPad because I wanted to learn how to do 2D animation, but I wasn't really good at it and I lost interest pretty quickly. But now I use it for doing my thumbnails using Procreate and the iPad Pencil. It's also great because this can act as a secondary screen to my MacBook, which is handy when I want to edit a video and have my script up at the same time, for example. Once I get a keyboard case for this, I can definitely see myself bringing just my iPad to cafes when I'm writing scripts or editing my thumbnails because it can really do a whole lot of stuff. I really love how lightweight and portable it is and again the screen is amazing I definitely recommend it in the main compartment of the bag There's this stretchy mesh pocket that can fit a bunch of stuff It's an easy access pocket so you can avoid digging around the bottom of your bag And this is where I put my mouse and the mouse I use is the Logitech MX Master 3 So this is a pretty popular mouse and a lot of youtubers use it and it's because it's catered to creatives and people who code So it's actually very perfect for me as someone who does both so I feel like I get the most use out of this mouse It has an ergonomic design that fits my hand really well but your mileage may vary. I use the computer a ton so ergonomics is very important and I really want to be able to use my hands for many many years so I carry this mouse around even if it is a bit clunky. It charges via USB-C but honestly I barely need to worry about it because the battery lasts forever. What I really love about this mouse is the two fast scroll wheels and all the buttons that you can customize to make your job a lot more efficient. Even browsing the internet is faster because you can quickly open a link in a new tab or go back and forth between pages all from just the mouse. Also in this pocket I like to keep my AirPods Pro. 
I love these AirPods and they're super portable and they do a great job of blocking out noise. Most times at a cafe and even sometimes in the office, it gets too noisy and it gets really distracting. So the noise cancellation feature really helps me focus. And I listen to a lot of different things, but lately it's just been a lot of lo-fi music. On days like today when I'm filming, I'll also carry my camera gear around. And I get this question a lot and I film the majority of my content on my Sony ZV-1 or also on my phone. I really like how this camera is compact and it can actually fit in my pocket. And it's also great because it was super easy to learn. And this is really great because I had zero filming experience when I started my channel. So super helpful if anyone is wanting to start their own channel, I definitely recommend this camera. In addition to the camera, I also carry a tripod around to get the camera eye level, an SD card reader to transfer the file to my computer, extra batteries because recording in 4K on this super tiny camera uses up a lot of battery, I have a shotgun mic to make my audio better, and then I also got this new wide angle lens I bought which I'm really liking so far. Next up in my bag is my notebook from Moleskin. I take a lot of notes digitally, but I also like to have a notebook on hand because there's something about physically writing on something that helps me think more clearly sometimes. The grid lines are also really great for drawing, which is helpful for me at work because I do a lot of front end and UI work, so how things look on the screen. And I really like to use this multicolored pen because it's four colors in one and it's really easy to switch a different color. I don't have to carry around four different pens. It also helps me keep my notes visually organized. So I use different colors for different things like blue is for headings, black is for regular plain text, red is for important notes like deadlines and whatnot, and then green is just like some random color if I need a fourth. Also in my bag is this water bottle I got as a gift from Google when I first joined. I think it's 16 ounces so it carries just enough water where I always have enough and it's not too heavy when it's full. Normally bags have water bottles on the outside of the bag but this bag has these two pop out pockets on the inside and I actually prefer to have everything inside of my bag for my everyday commuter use. And this is because I don't have to worry about people touching it or coughing on it or it getting dirty. The only downside is that I do have to make sure my bottle is closed tightly otherwise I'd be screwed if all my tech gets wet. So now let's get into the front side pockets. The way the bag is set up makes it super easy to swing the bag around to get to these pockets without needing to take your backpack all the way off. And I actually use this a lot more than I thought I would. On one side, there is an attached key leash for your keys, which is handy because it makes taking them out really fast and easy. I also carry around a power bank and USB cable in case I ever need to charge my devices. This one is from Anchor and honestly, I rarely use it, but I'm always grateful to have it when I need it. This specific model is pretty old. I personally just haven't found a need to upgrade yet. I also carry my MacBook charger with the extension cable and this extension cable is super crucial because it makes finding an outlet so much easier, especially in crowded cafes and especially at like airports. I can actually charge all my stuff. They're all USB-C and it's great because I don't have to worry about carrying a bunch of different chargers with me. So that's all the stuff I carry in my bag. If you like the video, please drop a like, it really helps a lot. And if you're interested in learning more about what I do at Google, watch my next video, which is my day in the life at the Google office. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.